Okay guys, so I just had a monster haul that was brought to my house. So we're going to be going through some of this stuff and showing you what we picked up. But actually the largest buy that I've had to date, and I've got some crazy stuff in here that I want to show you that is worth good money, very vintage and exciting for me as a sports fan. So we will uh, check it out as we go. <music> Okay guys, breaking news, local reseller gets a trailer load of sporting goods delivered to their home. Stay tuned. As, as you can see, one part of my living room slammed full of this stuff. And we have everything from sliding shorts, tons of them, to vintage shoes, spot built. I'm not sure of that brand, but these are like cleats. Um, there's some local printed stuff, some Mizuno cleats. And we're gonna get around to some of the cooler stuff here in a bit. But basically I have all of this and all of this, and I got some help in here. My dad is hanging out with me, doing some uh, work. Guys, we got plenty of help for you if you need it. Right here, there's some sporting equipment. And there's definitely some cool stuff here. We have uh, some things I'm gonna get into here shortly and show you what they are. But got some boxer shorts, some gun accessories. That's what's in this box. A couple of lawnmower blades in case we need to cut some grass. Like I said, this is a Ruger uh, pistol grip. Won't believe what we found with some of these. Um, some old baseball stirrups. This, I'm not quite sure what that is. Looks like some plumbing stuff and a cigar box. That's an unusual find. Guys, we have some vintage sneakers. Um, these are some old Nikes, uh, sky high cleats. Dad's got some uh, Converse and Mizuno cleats as well. Guys, now this is some of the stuff that we look at that is pretty exciting. These remind me of some of my high school basketball shoes. Check those guys out. Old school Converse. Uh, these are probably from the 90s at least. Uh, maybe a little newer. There's some football pads. Because we got a whole box of blank hats. Several boxes of blank hats. These right here. Some more old school Converse. These are nice. That's what dad's working with over there. Guys, these are all new, old, dead stock. So these should bring some good money. And that's not even the best part. We're, we're going to get into some of that. A vintage trash can. There's actually, um, this is a press where you can put patches on things. That's what that is. Then we've got other things here. Some more dead stock. Got more stirrups for baseball. Got some softball things. This is local baseball team, vintage 2001. Um, we have some all-stars, it's kind of cool. Um, this thing should bring some good money. Easton Soft Toss Elite. If you check that price tag, if we get anywhere near that, that'd be awesome. We got some tree stands. I got about five of those. So they bring some more money, some more atoms. Um, even got so much to go through, more blank hats. We got air filters, got all kinds of stuff. Let's go around to this other side and see what we can. Got my wife here cleaning a little. Uh... All right guys, so we're getting into some more of the, uh, the cooler items that I found. Guys, this is some old school, these old trash cans, New York Giants. Really love this one, 76ers. 
Then we found these little uh, mini bats that were in there. Not really sure what these were made for, but they have like a hole in the end of them. Had to do a little research, figure those things out. They look like they may be dowels, like maybe for a table or something. But this vintage trash can was wrapped. Um, man, some lacrosse shoes, all dead stock. Some more blank hats. I'm uh, not sure what's in this one. It says women something. Yeah, these boots are cool. They go over top of your uh, regular shoes. So like rain boots. And there's more of those things. And some bigger rain boots. So kind of cool there. We got some uh, face shields for baseball. Got some old uh, vintage all-star shirts from 2004. Some more rain boots. Guys, this right here. You see this? Once again, 259. Some waders for you hunter guys. Um, some cool waders there. Some more uh, softballs, practice balls. Got some Mizuno. These are, um, it's like shin guards. They're actually, they're sliders, sorry. Um, sliding pads. So there's a crew of them, load of them. This whole box is like baseball, softball gear, just smalls. So lots of stuff, man. Check this out. So now we get into stacks on stacks of Converse dead stock, like we were talking about. We also got these hunting boots. These are Georgia boots. Got a couple bows, crossbows. These are all new with tags. These are like official shorts or whatever, like coaching shorts, uh, Cherokee uniforms. Maybe golf, I don't know. Ugh. Tons of this stuff, guys. Tons of this stuff. So, I'm not even sure what that is. I guess it protects your rib cage in case you get hit. Tons of socks, baseball socks, white ones. Super stretched tube socks. They're, those look like they're vintage as well. Um, uniforms man like crazy these are some old stock check these out more accessories some cups some knee braces chin straps pitch and toe some gillian island hats tons of stuff man check this out hat guys alabama roll tie and there you go colton Give you a shout out on that one. Some Vitek boys. Man, so much stuff. Some of these hats in here are awesome. There's old three striper, uh, just a blank corn husker. Tim, there's the Orioles, buddy. Old stock. So many, man. South Carolina Gamecocks. I think that's Houston Astros. Texas Rangers. So many cool hats. Ohio State Buckeyes. Virginia Cavaliers. All these are old hats. All right. So guys, like most resellers, let's find out the reaction from the family of when you bring home a big fine. Or you get one delivered. Think about this big find that I got delivered here. It's good, but gotta go. So these are more dead stock Converse. Okay guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure your bell is rang and hit the like. All of that stuff helps the channel. We appreciate you watching. We have. So we get Got a couple of those. Now, guys, let me show you the sweet stuff. 
Let me show you the sweet stuff. This, what do you reckon this is, guys? You see what it is? A whole box of starter jackets. Guys, pretty sweet hornets. Colton, there's the opposite of your favorite there. Auburn. How about them Lakers, boys? We got some Cincinnati Bearcats. Guys, this is one of two boxes of uh, starter jackets. Those things are probably at least 100 bucks a piece, at least, minimum. So, man, as we get into this thing, there's just more and more stuff to be found. Uh, like I said, there's more of those tree stands. Outside, we have some basketball stuff. Like, here's another of the starter jacket, UMass. Just crazy stuff, guys. Crazy stuff. So much of it. Like, we don't even know. More waders. These are uh, coverall type things. Awesome. Here is the icing on top. If you look at this, this is old school leather Converse. And the sad thing is right now, I only have one of each of these. We're going to go through this and see if we find the other halves. But uh, hopefully, the guy I got this from maybe going back to the same place. And I'm hoping he can find these things. But these are original Chucks. These are old, old. These are from the 70s, late 70s, early 80s. Uh, Converse leather upper, uppers. Man, they, they have the hard plastic bottom, man. They're the old, old, the old hard rubber. And check this out. So that's the original box, um, big time. That's big time. So we'll keep looking at this other stuff. You're seeing this as I see it. You see what it says right here? Starter jacket. We'll see what it really is. Five, four, three, two, one. Mm. It is what it says it is. So what are we working with here? First one out of the gate, Penn State. Next out of the gate, Notre Dame. Detroit Pistons. <laughs> University of Southern California. Awesome, awesome. Guys, what a great deal can't wait to see what this buy brings we will uh, catch you guys next time well guys <laughs> we're on the hunt uh still going through the sale the sporting goods store that i bought all the stuff for and man uh today we have bagged some game. That's why I got my safari hat on. Is uh, we bagged some game in, that we found in this hunt. So I'm going to show you real quick. One of the items that I found in here. You won't believe it. So guys, I'm going through this stuff. Come across this bag. I'm not real sure what it is. Man, Thanksgiving came early. Look at that. Bagged a turkey. It's in there. Guys, this is a turkey decoy, and these things are pretty good, man. Uh, hey, it kind of looks like a turkey, not the kind you'd like to eat, um, looking at it from that angle. Uh, this is a, a laying hen uh, decoy, and that, that thing's actually right around, hey, it's around 50, 60 bucks. We'll see. One of those items. Glad we picked it up. The stuff we have outside is kind of cool as well. I actually got five of these backboards, these Harvard backboards. Uh, we got an Easton T. I got this circle rack for uh, for shirts. Got this rig. I don't know what, I have no clue what this is. 
but I don't know if it's some kind of filter or what. But we'll see what that is. I have no idea. There's a thing for the field, like it goes around the top of a fence. Plastic. This is something for a refrigerator too, but I don't know, extra pickup. I don't know what that rack's for, but we got her anyway. <laughs> Talk about some old stock, guys. Converse, man. Black Ox, men's Ox canvas. I have several pair of these old stock Converse. That's these. These are the older ones. There's several of those. Here we have, so as always, you can bring a little drama to a sale when you don't have a knife fight, but you have a gun fight. This right here kind of freaked us out a little bit when I first saw this. Like, man, there is a handgun in here, but it is a starter pistol. So that can be sold, and I think it's pretty valuable. But man, when you see this in a sale, it makes you wonder. That was in the midst of all this stuff as we're looking. So guys, we uh, did, like I said, great find today. I uh, can't wait to see what it brings. We'll catch you next time. To work through this sale, uh, these items that I picked up and I've ended up finding a whole box of Little League stuff, a whole box of uniform shorts and some other schools that have some stuff already printed up. I'm probably going to end up just donating this stuff to those schools and to the Little League in that area because honestly, what can you do um, with that stuff? Baseball helmets, there's a ton of that. Still going through that, that whole box of shoes. Um, deer stand extensions, so tons of that stuff out here. Um, still working through it. Got these little rigs. Not quite sure what they are. They look like they might be for a banister or something. Uh, little baseballs. And whole boxes of practice softballs. My 76ers can. I may hold on to that for a little while. Hey, look at this. Man, that thing is bright. One of those things. Maybe I'll need it to go through the boxes. Pretend like I'm some of those storage locker guys <laughs> and go through. Guys, have you ever seen pads like this? Softball fielding and sliding pads. $17.95. Hopefully they're that good because that's a whole box of them. <sighs> These are galoshes. They go over your shoe. And then in here, whole nother box of, looks like, catcher's mint stuff and shirts. And man, these are blank shirts. That's awesome. Didn't think I had any of those, but those are blanks. So we'll see if we can do some printing. Um, whole box of catcher's mitts. And more, and more, and more. There's look like more baseball pants. And uh, look at that rig. You know what we could do with that? It looks like a fine Corona mask. I can convert one. You know how you get looks when you wear masks? I imagine you'd really get some looks wearing that rig. Maybe I'll get a test subject. <laughs> Not me. Well, guys, man, this has been a great buy. And, you know, if you're watching this, you're going to see more and more of this sale in the upcoming weeks. I'm going to go ahead and disclose here in a bit how much we spent. Uh, what I think is the approximate value is, but I really don't know, to be honest, what the value will end up being. But I know it is quite valuable. Um, it's definitely worth a lot more than what I paid, which is awesome. 
So as you can see, more and more boxes, uh, more shoes, these, more shoes, awesome stuff. And now that I got these rigs out in the sunlight, this is probably the best find of the whole bit right there, those rigs. And these basketball brackets, I got backboards outside. These are like Dr. J back in the day. These are a single shoe. I might list it, but I'll display it for a while. Um, that's got my UNC Tar Heels color, so that's cool. At any rate, still filming, guys. Still packing, still listing. Um, today, I'm going to take you outside and show you what I got going on. And just one way of trying to get rid of some of this, some of this stuff. So, guys, like you heard earlier in the video, my wife said it's got to go. So, we are trying all kinds of stuff to get rid of some of these things. I have some uh, other uh, resellers that are coming to pick some stuff up. I've uh, been doing a yard sale this past weekend. I'm going to be showing some video about that. And then, obviously, we've listed some stuff on eBay. Uh, we'll be tracking how the sale came out and what was found there and what we've sold from that stuff. So stay tuned.